Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Home Shop Tips. This is going to be a real simple one about strap wrenches and removing flywheels. Now, when you're removing a flywheel, as you might know, there's a nut in the center that you have to remove with a suitable wrench. But, if you try to turn it, it moves the flywheel. So, how do you prevent it from doing that? You might be tempted to just hold it or stick something something in these uh, cooling fins here to block it up. That's not a good thing to do because this flywheel is obviously spinning very quickly when the engine's running. And uh, if you crack these fins or if you break one off even, it'll unbalance the flywheel and it'll make it wobble and it uh, may come apart entirely when you're running the engine. That's extremely dangerous. So, what you want to use is something like this. This is a vice grip style strap wrench. There's other kinds that use chains or belts or, uh, you know, something similar is this oil filter wrench. Works on the same concept. When you turn it one way, it kind of locks down on the oil filter. But this is, an isn't, is not an adjustable size, so you have to have a bunch of these lying around. Something like this is very versatile. So, I'm um, going to set the camera down for a second, because you need two hands to put the wrench on. You just get it to the right size, loop it over. And on this saw, this is a chainsaw here in old David Bradley, it's a little difficult because this lip here gets in the way, so I can't put the strap all the way down in the flat part of the flywheel. And I'll just adjust it and click it down gently. You don't need to cr crank it too hard. But anyway, you can see this gets in the way, so I can't put it all the way down the flat, which is what I would like to do, but this is better than nothing. Don't put it on the fins. Again, you might damage them. You don't want to damage the fins. Then, you can grab onto this with one hand and wrench off that nut with the other hand. I'm not going to take it off because I actually just put this flywheel back on. Um, so that's the basics to loosening up a flywheel nut. And for two strokes and chainsaws especially, Another handy tip is if you don't have one of these, what you can do is take out the spark plug, and I don't have any rope handy, but you would do, you would take some synthetic rope and shove it down into the spark plug hole. And uh, you don't need to shove down too much, just enough to kind of jam up the piston. So when you put a wrench on the flywheel nut and try to turn the flywheel, that'll turn the piston, of course, and it'll eventually jam the piston up with all that rope in the cylinder. You just have to be careful and don't get any rope in the uh, intake or exhaust ports like this here. You break pieces of rope off and, you know, get burnt in the cylinder and that wouldn't be good. Might not harm the engine, but it's not a not not, not a good thing to have in, in the cylinder. So those are the uh, basics to loosening up the flywheel nut. Um and one other thing, once you loosen the nut, how do you get the damn flywheel off? Well that's what these things come in handy for. This is a puller. You can use it to pull off any any sort of any sort of thing. Flywheels, pulleys, bearings, I guess. Um, so after you take off the uh, this this is a starter cup. You take off the starter cup. You can put the dimple, the little tip there in the dimple of the uh, crankshaft, just like that, 
obviously doesn't fit right now. And you would crank down on this, obviously you would engage the teeth on the edge of the wheel that you're pulling. Crank down this until it's nice and firm. Don't pull too, don't turn too hard or else you might warp the flywheel. Just, just you know, almost finger tight, a little tighter than that. Then, take a hammer and you whack it. And uh, sometimes that loosens it up, sometimes it doesn't. You tighten it a little bit more, then you whack it again. And uh, sure enough, after a couple whacks at most, the flywheel will pop right off because most flywheels are on a tapered shaft. So once they're loose, they're loose. But you don't have to slowly pull them off. And I think that's about it. There's one other cool way to pull off a uh, flywheel. I, I can't I can't demonstrate it on this one. But over here. I bought this on, uh, uh, from Harbor Freight, pretty cheap, I mean it's ba basically just a bunch of bolts, but the important part is this thing right here, and there's also a, a center screw just like, just like on the puller, so let's yank this out. So what you have is this weird funky looking thing. You would uh, put a tip in the middle here and set it against the divot in the center of the crankshaft. And on a lot of flywheels, like, no, oh, I can't show you because there's the starter cup on it, but on a lot of flywheels, there's two threaded holes, or sometimes there's three threaded holes, which is why there's two opposing slots and three evenly spaced slots on here. So you set this up, without the starter cup in the way, of course. Select the proper bolts. There's all different lengths and thread sizes and everything, and I found a couple of special washers and things of my own. And here's the center, the center pieces, so I can get it out. Like that. That just slides into the end of, the, of that big screw. But uh, then you run the three bolts or two bolts in there. And then you again just crank down on this until it tightens up against the bolts. Make sure to thread the bolts very deeply into the flywheel because this is just aluminum. And uh, then again you take your hammer and you give it a whack and it should pop right off. And this is a very handy thing. I've uh, used it a number of times. I don't know what I would have done without it. But that's about it. Uh, sorry for the slightly disjointed video. I just I, I completely forgot about my bolt puller set, um, so I didn't pull it out and prepare it. But you know, simple stuff. But it's it's uh, things that that I've learned over the years and. For someone who's a beginner like me, it come, may come as a very handy piece of knowledge. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and come back for more videos later.